We are here on Manhattan's Upper East Side in the 73rd Assembly District, just a few days away from the Democratic primary for New York State Assembly, speaking with a few of the candidates about what makes each of them the best candidate in the race. What makes you the best candidate in this race? It's a good question. I'm the most qualified candidate I've spent my career working in and around government for Ben Kalos, who's our council member for PBS, for the United Jewish Appeal. And I currently work for the American Institute of Architects, where my job is to push for legislation that promotes more housing, better transportation, cleaner streets and safety, which are the top issues for voters on the east side. What makes you the best candidate in this race? I'm the only one born and raised uh, and went to public schools here in the district, PS6, Wagner, and Hunter. And today I'm an engineer. I uh, spent my career in government technology, making it more effective and efficient, building software that the Department of Justice still uses to solve violent crimes here in New York City. Uh, and not only am I the only candidate with that background, I'd in fact be the only Democrat in Albany with a degree in computer science or a career in government tech. And I don't think that every legislator should have that background, but I feel like having one person up in Albany who understands technology will help us. Yeah, like every assembly district, the 73rd has 140,000 New Yorkers living in it, but there's only 45,000 registered Democrats. Now, some of those are children, some of those are foreign, but a lot of Republicans, a lot of uh, uh, conservatives. It's the most conservative district in Manhattan, um, but we're still here to push forward the policies that all Democrats love. Um, and happy to do it right here in front of where I went to elementary school, PSX. Now, out of those 45,000 registered Democrats, how many will vote in a primary? Oh, maybe a third of them will end up voting in this race. So every vote is going to matter. Your vote is so important. And if you want to have a say in a difference, voting in an assembly race is a great way to do it. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you've lived in the district your whole life. That's right. So I've lived in this district my whole life. I live in this district now. I have to mention that because not everybody in the race does. Uh, but I'm the chair of Community Board 8, so I've been very active in the community for a long time. Also a former president of the Lexington Democratic Club, which is our local club here and a Democratic district leader. So I've been very active in the community, very focused on community issues. I really think of my candidacy as being of the community, by the community, for the community. So I want to be a voice for our neighborhoods up and all. Right across the street from Russell Squire, we see Kelly Leeson. There she is. What makes you the best person in this race? Oh, well, that's me really the best person in the race. <laughs> I know you're the only woman in the race. I am the only woman in the race. Okay. Um, after me, uh, Milo. Yep. Um, she would do and is going to the Biden administration. I know. And she endorsed me, so I'm very excited about that. Okay. I'd also be the first woman to represent the district, which is pretty exciting as well. Um, but beyond being a woman, uh, I also have global experience. I've dealt with many difficult issues in difficult places, so I come with all of that experience and expertise. But I've also been an advocate up in Albany for these last number of years, helping to get rid of the IDC, those fake Democrats that are up there in Albany. And now I bring all of that enthusiasm and all of that energy to make sure that we have more accountable governance. We've got a 200, over $200 billion budget. That, that money needs to be well spent. So I want to go up there and make sure we're managing that budget now. Okay, so as someone really involved with the community, Russell, what do you think is the number one issue facing Manhattan right now? So public safety and crime and making sure that we're reducing crime, that's definitely the top issue that I'm hearing the most about in the district and that I'm most concerned about. So I really want to make sure that we're keeping repeat offenders off the street. That's very, very important. We've got to make sure that the subways are safe again. So we've got to have more patrols in the subway to make sure people feel safe on the subway platforms. We've got to do more to combat the rise in hate crimes that we've seen. We've got to do more to keep illegal guns off the street. So that's all things that I you know, work on as a subway member.